Welcome back, everybody. It's another Tube Tuesday. I am Moon Pies, brought to you by NetStories.com, offering you tips on how to make money on YouTube, how to get more views on YouTube, how to get more subscribers, the old-fashioned yet intelligent way, earning it and learning it. Uh, this week, I have a simple lesson. Um, it's five things that you have to do within the first 24 hours of your video being uploaded to YouTube to make sure that it gets noticed. Now, a lot of the stuff I'm going to be talking about will be obvious, and I've discussed some of the things in detail, and if you see annotations and links along the way in some of these areas, it's going to be probably a link to a video that has more in-depth on each of these five steps. So check them out, pause the video, check them out, you can always come back to this video. Um, but I think what I've done, I've emphasized that some of my biggest videos, even today, are videos that I uploaded three, four years ago. Uh, I have my, my most popular videos were uploaded three, four years ago, and they still get hundreds of views a day. That even though I don't want you to neglect the old videos, I don't want you to underestimate the what you really have to do to get your video noticed right out of the gate, because your video will only be fresh and new once and you don't want to blow that by just uploading it and just walking away and coming back three weeks later and saying oh wow I only have 12 views what did I do wrong let's get into the five things that you have to do if you want to get views you don't have to do anything really um, the first thing obviously is um, I want you to be the CEO of your SEO and CEO of course is chief executive officer which is the leader and SEO is search engine optimization which is something a lot of people don't do on YouTube, even some of the partners, some of the big, they, they just put up a video and they assume that because they have a subscriber base, everyone's going to check it out. It doesn't work that easy. For starters, make sure your title is catchy and descriptive. You don't want to lie about what your video is in or else you're going to get a lot of bad reviews. You want it to be descriptive. You also want to make sure you have a description there. If you want a link, if your purpose of your video is to take someone else, somebody else to your blog account, to your website, to your Tumblr account, wherever you want to take them, get that link up there. And even if you don't, just flesh out what the video is about in the description. Some people may be reading the description while they're actually watching your video. And of course, every word you put in there helps the search engine find you. And of course, tags is the third part of this first step put as many tags as relevantly possible. You don't want to cheat people by putting tags that don't belong to your video, but make them as, as relevant as you can and as thorough as you can. Because these are three distinctive ways, tags, description, and the title, that are going to get your non-subscribers to check you out. Your subscribers, they're going to see your video within the first 24 hours. You'll, they'll, your video will show up on their feed. If they're on YouTube that day, they're going to see your video. At least the link to your video, thumbnail. These are ways to reach beyond that. With, with, you actually have to work for. Uh, number two, visually optimize your video. And I'm not a good judge of that, obviously, because I'm just blogging here. I'm not trying to make you know some mini Spielberg presentation out of this. It's usually one take and upload it goes. But there's two things you can do to visually optimize your video. The first thing is once you uploaded your video, you can actually go back and edit and have you have a choice of three thumbnails that they took during the clips. And if you're just blogging like me, you're pretty much your only blogs are going to be one, two, three. You don't really have a lot of options, and they sometimes all look terrible in my case. But if you do have more of a varied video out there in the open, action, moving around, and stuff like that, you're going to have some good choices for your thumbnails between the three shots. Make sure you pick the one that's the most intriguing, the, the one that will get more people to check it out, uh, the one that either you look at your you look your best or the what you're shooting looks at its best. All that works for views, and, and we've known this even from the back, from the early days during the sex sells days, when people would just put on, you know, um, you know, a, a sexy scintillating shot as their thumbnail to try to gain the system. If you have something organically in your video that looks good, um, you know, it doesn't have to be sex. It could be, you know, a pretty puppy or anything like that. If it shows up in your thumbnail, that's probably what you want to go with. And of course, the other way to make your your video visually appealing beyond what you have there is to use titles and annotations, which you can use edit right within YouTube. You don't have to edit beforehand. You can, of course, but you can also do it after you upload it through the YouTube annotations feature. Um, step number three, uh, video response. Right away, every video you upload, don't let it be an orphan. Hook it onto something right away. 
find what you'd like your video to be about. If, if you were going to search for your video, what would you type into a Google, into a YouTube search box to find your video? Once you see the videos come out there, check out the, the most popular video under that term. If it's appropriate, send your video as a video response to that person's video. Now, I think nine times out of ten, you're going to get a, a message said video response submitted. The you know the, the uploader needs to approve the video. Most of my clips, I do not. I automatically have it so that I automatically approve the videos because I don't want you to be jumping through those hoops. If you get that, user must submit and wait. Most of the time, I would say another nine times out of ten they're not going to accept it and it's not something personally they're not even going to bother to check out your video they're just too busy because they're at the top of a, some search uh, uh, on YouTube to be able to respond to every possible video review and there's a probably a reason why they don't have it checked automatically to approve it so just keep running down the list until you find someone that automatically approves it if you're too frustrated and you don't find it use it as a video response perhaps to your most popular video before so that it all ties in with your other videos so use that video response button right away. Then don't waste your time. Get get on it right away. Um, tip no and you can always use a video response to this video because you know I'm going to make it automatic. So you can always put a video response here. Uh, tip number four is yes, respond to comments. I actually wrote these five tips down, so I made sure I wouldn't forget them. I'm guilty of this just as everybody else, but there's a lot of people that you know. Will, after a while, will be we will see the same names start to pop up on some of your video comments. And the best thing you can do is respond to them, especially if someone writes in the first 24 hours. I'm not talking about the first comment uh, um, or something like that, but maybe the first comment that there's, there's a response, kick in with a response. It does a few things. It makes your comment area seem a little more lively. It engages the person that originally put the comment, whether it was a question or a comment. Try to be diplomatic. Don't, don't, you don't want to get into a flame war here on, on YouTube. But what it will do is it'll bring that person back to that page so you can have a discussion if that happens. And people will come in and they'll say, hey, there's more to this video than just the video. There's actually a whole community hub happening underneath. And the only way to make that happen is for you to pitch in and you know keep things going. My fifth and final tip is get the word out. And this is get the word out outside of YouTube. Uh, obviously, within YouTube, you could be commenting on as many videos as you want. And if you could you know plug your video without it seeming obvious you know if it's a certain thread or something go ahead and do it, uh, it it's it, there's nothing you know if, if the people mark it as spam it's because you did a bad job doing that there's a way to promote your videos in other threads that make sense if someone's discussing something you could make a comment and at the end I just upload I recently uploaded a video about that it's just just let them know that they could find you without hitting hammering them over the head with that but outside of YouTube there's no spam button out there. You, your Facebook, your Twitter, if you have any of these Tumblr, a Blogger, all these accounts that you have, all these social media outlets that you have, MySpace, if you're still on MySpace, there's no problem in telling people who actually want to follow you that you have a new video up. It's, it's something you shouldn't be embarrassed about. It's something you should be proud of. Obviously, you put it up on YouTube. So hit the, all those channels. Find discussion boards related to what you're doing right away don't wait don't wait months and years to do all this you have to do it right when you upload the video because there's a YouTube in the search for popularity it's based on the most you know today's biggest uploads this week's most trending videos there's never a, an area there to say the the, the 2007 2008 videos that are trending the hottest right now there isn't all that trends is something new because it's what's relevant YouTube likes something fresh to get on their home page and that's what they like to do on their searches so your video will never be as valuable as it is the first 24 hours that you upload it. These are five quick tips, which I have in most cases gone a lot deeper into all these subjects before. So I'm not going to just make this a 30-minute video. I'm going to obviously you'll have had links already at this point to take you there. And I'll be back next week, next Tuesday, because I won't let you down. Moon pies, Tube Tuesday, every Tuesday, a tip for you to get bigger and better on YouTube. See you.